Hello and welcome to another YouTube video of mine and as you can see today it's going to be a little bit mysterious. Now if you clicked on this video you probably know that this is about fulfilling a life goal for me and travel but you don't know where we're going yet so I'm just going to very undramatically unveil that I am planning to go to Japan this year and it is really 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 important to me because I've been wanting to go for a very long time. It's really high on my list of countries that I would like to see and I haven't been yet. And since it's pretty far away from Germany, uh, it costs a lot of money. So being able to do this is partly due to you guys, but it's also part of how hard I've worked in the past years and kind of doing something nice for me. Now, if you are going that far, as am I, you do want to try to see as much as possible, I think. So I've planned in two weeks. This is the travel line, kinda, not exactly, something like this. It's a little bit messed up, but we'll go through it. So don't worry. First question, when am I going? I will be going to Japan in the Sakura season, which is at the end of March, at the beginning of April. I'm aware that this is the main travel season and I don't think I will like seeing all these people because I'm not a fan of crowds, but it's kind of like if you are going, then maybe that's where you go. <laughs> At least that's that's how I figure it. I really wanted to see Japan in Sakura season. Yeah, I don't know why I'm rambling. This is what I wanted and I'm very happy that I'm able to, to go in that season. So yeah, going to Japan in Sakura season. And of course you want to know where I'm going. We're staying away from the north. We're trying to stay very central and west south centric i guess and there's also going to be a small little trip as you can see up here to okinawa uh, i'll go through all of the locations to talk to you about what kind of thing i'm doing there and also of course all of this will be filmed for you guys i'll upload it to the youtube so if there's anything in specific you want to see do let me know and i'll try to film that but for the most part, a lot of it is already planned. So the cities are locked in. I booked the hotels and everything. First of all, Tokyo, right? If, if you are going to Japan, you want to start off in Tokyo, I think is pretty normal if you've never been huge city. And things I personally want to do there is going to the Ghibli Museum. And I also want to just like see the different districts. I want to experience some of the restaurants, the food culture as well as uh yeah you know the manga and the akihabara and stuff like that i just think it's really cool so i have a couple of days in tokyo where i'll just do all of that and then from tokyo i will go to hakone which is the region that's close to mount fuji in the south and i booked a ryokan there which if you don't know it it's like a specific japanese type of hotel where you have dinner in the evening and often they come with private onsen as well this is something i do want to do so hopefully it works out this is the floating tori gate at the lake there and they also have a pirate ship which i would like to hop on to i know it's very touristy but that's just the plan and then of course with all of these tattoos going into a public onsen wasn't really an option for me unless finding like one that's tattoo friendly so I figured this is maybe the better version to not need to cover all of this up or lie or whatever I didn't want to do that now I'll only be here for one night mainly because it's very expensive but also because I want to see other stuff as well there's also the open air museum very close to where I'm staying so I'm hoping I can check that out as well if the weather is nice but right after Hakone I'm going to go to Ghibli Park I stayed up awake so, so long to be able to get these tickets and it was really complex and I'm so happy I figured it out. I'm probably going to bring half a suitcase just to buy Ghibli stuff, which if you don't know, I'm just a huge fan. I have half of my arm full with Ghibli tattoos and yeah, just going there is, is a big, big goal of mine and I'm so happy that it's going to work out and I got tickets. So yeah. I don't know about filming in there from everything I've read they're a little bit strict with it but I'll see what I can do and if not just take some photos and show you those. After that I'm gonna go to Kyoto and in Kyoto of course you want to check out the bamboo forest, you want to check out the Inari shrine. I also looked into renting a furizode or a kimono better to say. It's a little bit complicated because I 
did want to film kind of the process of getting ready and stuff. And since it is main travel season, many of the places that I asked were like, eh, you know, not really. It's like one spot. We want to be respectful, privacy and so on. So that's going to be a little bit difficult, but I'm trying to figure out something that fingers crossed is going to work out. And uh, yeah, those are the big goals for Kyoto. But as I said, if there's anything like you've been or you saw something, feel free to write it in the comments. I'm super happy to read more recommendations of stuff to do. Those are just the main ones and I'm more of a spontaneous traveler. Like I like to go out and just look at stuff and then go wherever I feel like I should be going, if that makes sense. After that, I planned something very specific, which if you don't know Koyasan, it is a Buddhist temple mountain. I'm speaking slowly to make sure I get it right. It's often a pilgrimage place for people to go and stay there with the monks. I am not of Buddhist belief, but I do like religious sites and temples. I'm very interested in that. My parents are pastors, so I think it's just something I grew up with. And so I like to, to look at these. I'll be going to Koyasan. I'll be staying in one of the temples overnight. It's just one night. And I'll also be having like the traditional monk diet. They make food there that they also eat. Of course, I asked them to leave out the fruits for me. So mine might be a little bit different, but that's just due to allergies. So yeah, those are the things I want to do there. I'm very excited for it. From everything I read, it's supposed to be super beautiful. And uh, yeah. I'm really excited for that one. Then after that, I do want to go to Nara, which I think many people want to go. It's just, you see all these deer, but I also want to eat like the typical Nara mochi, which I think should be really good. And yeah, that's just the plan for Nara. Look at temples, look at deer, feed the deer and eat some mochi. I won't be there for long. It's just a day trip. I'll be staying in Osaka. And speaking of Osaka, this is uh, the plan. I want to look at Osaka Castle and <laughs> this is a restaurant I wrote down it's from my secret private presentation where I wrote down all of the restaurants that I do want to go to. And also when I'm in Osaka, I want to go to Kobe and try Kobe beef. So hopefully that works out as well. But yeah, no main plans for Osaka other than actually going out of Osaka to Nara. And then from Osaka, I will be flying to Okinawa. That's actually a little bit of a extra addendum because as you know, I've, well, I don't know if you know, but recently I started doing karate and I'm really interested in kabuto even more than in karate, I think, but I can't really learn kabuto where I am. It's very close, karate and kabuto. Uh, the difference is that kabuto uses weapons. So like long sticks, half sticks and stuff like nunchucks, but they're legal in Germany, so I can't use those. And I'm really interested in the sticks and learning with those. And I actually contacted a dojo in Naha that is willing to give me a lesson in kabuto and also in karate with one of the Okinawan senseis. And I'm allowed to film that. So hopefully that's going to be interesting, but I'm just personally really excited. And I also want to go to the beach and just check out a lot of karate stuff in Naha. And then once that's done, we're actually going to fly back to Tokyo and go to the other side. So the first time I'm staying around Shibuya, second time I'm staying around Ueno, and I'll try to like split it up a little bit so I'm not spending too much time just traveling with like public transport everywhere. But yeah, that's the overall plan. And then I'll be going home. It's 14 days. It's very packed. Uh, I've been learning Japanese for the past two months now, a little bit less than two months, like 50 days. I'm hoping I can use it just a little bit. I don't like traveling to countries where I don't speak the language. It always makes me feel insecure, also a little bit lost. And I feel like the best way to experience a culture is if you can actually understand some of it. Obviously, I know it's very unrealistic to expect that I'll be able to understand everything, but maybe just by learning the language, I feel like I'm getting closer to what it actually is like and more authentic, so to say. I'm also aware that in Japan, similar to Germany, people don't really like being filmed. Uh, in Germany, it's actually illegal. I don't know if it's legal in Japan, but it's definitely not nice. So I'll be very careful and make sure I get approval. Most of the shots will either be nature or me, I think. And I'll try to not film other people because I want to be respectful. I'll try to film lots of food because that's what I'm very interested in. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I get nervous talking about this, to be honest with you. It's just such a big goal of mine. And the fact that I'm able to do this is unreal. And just talking about it makes it feel more real. And then just that kicks in. I don't know. It's really crazy to me. But yeah, this is the big announcement. I've been sitting on this for a little while because I couldn't film the video. But hopefully now that you have the video, you are excited with me, you're looking forward to the content, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see that. And then if there's anything you want to recommend or let me know or ask for, feel free to head to the comments. I'm, yeah, I'm going to read them all because I always do. And I'm really excited. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one.